They're like um, memory foam. <laughs> Stoic, intrepid boomer, van lifer, Richard, is eking out the last of the summer on his deck chair outside the van. Several layers now on top. Yeah, good luck with that, Richard. So, Richard down tools. <laughs> Rain stops play, and he gives up on a bad job. Yeah. I would go outside and gloat, but um, I don't want to get soaked. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I will gloat. <laughs> oh, it's really starting to tip down now. <laughs> uh, he's a stoic chap I'm sure he doesn't see the funny side of it now but not. he might watching this video in a couple of days time when it comes out So one of the worst kept secrets in van life is that our kid Bry, Manchester van life, is seeing another van lifer called Kayak Dread Girl. Yeah, Janie. She lives in a van almost identical to mine, but it's the... Um, it's the four-seater version with windows, uh, not the, the panel van version. So exactly the same size and make of van. And she's done a lot better with her use of space than I have. I'll show you a quick preview here of what her van is. So, go check out Janie, Kayak Dread Girl. I'll link it up there and at the end. There's some guy pulled up in the car park with a Vauxhall, whatever that is. And of course, he's moved forwards, um, opened the bonnet into the shade where he can't see anything, and he's rustling through all the stinging nettles. <laughs> 
That can't be comfortable. Oh dear. Just turn the car around. The engine bay will be in the bright sunlight and you'll be laughing, mate. Mate, he's got a stinger right in his face. God. Well, he's a Vauxhall driver. You can't expect too much. And it's here at a council car park in the forests above Rawdenstall, Lancashire, where you find Scruffy the Yorkshire Terrier taking a walk in the brief spells of dry weather between the showers. And of course at all times with Scruffy is her faithful human companion Richard Hewitt. I believe he's going for the compartment in his camper van in which he folds away the deck chair. This is confident indeed because not only an hour ago did he lock it away thinking there was no possible hope for sunbathing and relaxing in this small town just north of Manchester. Northwest England. Yes, it's confirmed the deck chair is out. And do the skies back up Richard's idea that the weather is clear? Well, not quite. Hmm. Still can't find my spoon. Rubbish bags full. So I got a chips and curry from the Chinese chippy, but of course the Chinese don't stock cheese. So I thought of that. And I've got some extra mature cheddar cheese to sprinkle into my cheese and curry making oh, you know what time it is <laughs> oh yes mm. Mm. so grumpy Mike has returned Excellent.